Let's have a look on the timeline slicer in a new scenario where we will insert a pivot table showing sales for regions. And right now, when I'm standing on this pivot table, I can insert the timeline from the analyze tab uh, from under the right click on the pivot table fields uh, or on the insert tab you can also find the timeline but the requirement for this kind of slicer is that you have a specific date that is recognized by a pivot table we use order date for the reporting purposes so we can use this particular date and have a look on four levels uh, that you can find in here sorry for the polish names but for some reason they cannot be translated anymore yeah, after installation uh, we've got the first level which is the years you can select a specific year or a range which might be also useful then you've got the second level which is the quarters and in here also you can select a range but you cannot select periods that don't stand uh, as neighbors with each other so you cannot select for example the first and the third quarter in here you need to be consistent with the uh, selection then we've got the months uh, and also the uh, days level so this is quite uh, useful uh, as regards uh, time analysis uh, and also uh, you need to remember about the report connections because if you have a lot of uh, pivot tables on the same uh, report page in the same worksheet you need to turn uh, this slicer on for all other uh, pivot tables too this uh, time slicer has also uh, specific formatting options you can turn off for example the uh, header selection label scroll bar and even the time uh, level so that the user cannot uh, change it uh, on its own uh, compared to a normal slicer uh, you cannot turn off uh, not active periods like the 2015 if i will pick a normal slicer on years coming from the order date we saw in the previous exercise you can always turn off those that are not active uh, and they disappear in here uh, it's not that easy so as you can see you will always have a choice uh, which of the uh, slicer versions you want to use the last comment uh, as regards this lesson timeline slicer has been introduced to excel in the year 2013 and is not compatible with the 2010 uh, version and the previous ones so keep this uh, in mind because otherwise your uh, pivot tables might be broken